Hello there guys, Nintendo Fanatic here, and I am back with another Pokemon deck profile. This deck, as you can tell by the title, is called Knuckle Sandwich. The deck pretty much revolves around Slacking, which is your main attacker, uh, with the moves Amnesia and Knuckle Sandwich. You are predominantly using Knuckle Sandwich because it does 120 damage for 4 energy, you run 4 double colorless energy uh, to do massive damage. It's kind of an aggressive format that I thought, it was kind of like a fun deck, it's by no means competitive, but if, you know, any... Any players of the TCG wanted to try this deck, I'd I'd recommend it. As I said, it's by no means competitive, so there's going to be quite a lot of... Uh, it actually runs a strong evolution line, which is not too good for a, a good deck anyway. Usually it stalls a lot, and you are you spend more time evolving. It's more like a basic deck with a few other advanced cards thrown in. That's how I'd describe it. But without further ado, let's get into the profile. Right, so here we have the first of the two evolution lines that you run. Four copies of Slack Oath, two copies of Vigoroth, and obviously your big heavy hitter, two copies of Slacking. Uh, Slack Oath has the attack Big Yawn, so both active Pokemon are now asleep, no damage, so it's kind of more of an effect than a, an attack. Uh, Vigoroth is kind of not... I mean, you could use Reckless Charge, I guess, but you're pretty much benching it and hoping to evolve into Slacking, even though this deck does run rare candies. And obviously, as I mentioned uh, in the first part, Slacking's Knuckle Sandwich is the main reason you have the evolution line. So, Slack Oath you run forward just to kind of get it, you know, on the board, so to speak, get it set up. Vigoroth in case you need to go into stage 1, and then obviously to evolve into stage 2 if you don't have a rare candy. And Slacking is your main attacker. Now, obviously you'd want Synergy, so I run other Pokemon just to support Slacking. Uh, a again similar to the slacking lineup. I have a 4-2-2 lineup of 4 Trap Inch, 2 Vibrava and 2 Flygon. Uh, normally I would just run 1 Vibrava or just use the rare candies to get to Flygon because Vibrava isn't as good um, normally. However it has the move which doesn't do any damage but like an ability move called Charge Energy. You can search your deck for up to 2 basic energy cards, reveal them, put them in your hand and shuffle your deck afterwards. This lets you search out alternate energies meaning that if you don't always draw into the double colorless energy regularly you can use uh, charge energy to get the other energies that you run onto slacking or even to set up uh, the next Pokemon you're about to see uh, after this part. Uh, and obviously we have Flagon. I have two. Um, one's col uh, one's uh, Reverse Hollow, sorry, and one is um, Plain, like it's common. Uh, you'll only use this similar to Vibrava just for the one energy cost for a Rainbow Shower. This is the key to the slacking build. It lets you attach as many as many basic energy cards as you like from your hand to your Pokemon in any way you like. Hence why Vibrava lets you search out the energy. Uh, use charge energy from Vibrava if you can. Bench to evolve or, you know, if you can, evolution uh, evolve into getting out Flygon. Then on your next turn, when it's your turn, use Rainbow Shower to attach energies from your hand to the, any Pokemon you like. Which is great because it means you can search out the extra energies and attach them to Slacking or to the next Pokemon you're about to see. And for the final Pokemon in the lineup, we have one Dragonite EX. Uh, I wanted to run an EX for power because if Slacking, uh, again, stalling sometimes, if your opponent's going to start aggressive as well, you might not always draw into the Slacking evolution line or have the Flygon energy uh, cycle set up. So Dragonite is always a good option. It uh, has the ability Burst In, which when you play it from your hand and you put it on your bench, uh, you may move any number of basic energy cards attached to your Pokemon to Dragonite EX if you want. And if you do, you switch this Pokemon out with the active Pokemon. Uh, so, you know, Dragonite is pretty much uh, set up and ready to go. So if, you know, Slacking's running on empty uh, and it's got some uh, grass energies attached to it, bam, moving straight to Dragonite. Because if you move two and, and an electric energy, you can use the move Jet Sonic, which does 80 damage. And if you discard an energy attached to it, hence why moving the energy quickly would be helpful because Jet Sonic would then do an extra 40 if you discard the energy doing 120 damage. The same power as Knuckle Sandwiches. Most of the decks I run run Stadium cards. This deck isn't really much different. It does run four Stadium cards. The same card, four copies of Training Center. Each stage one and two Pokemon in play, both yours and your opponents get an extra 30 hit points. More often than not, if you do play this format, your opponent might be running an EX build, so they might not have as many evolutions, so you're getting the benefit of it mostly. Uh, this is mainly to juice up Slacking and Flygon's power, you know. Uh, slacking goes from 150 to 180, and of course, you know, Flygon goes up from 130 to 160. So they become a bit more prominent, they can take an extra hit or two usually, which means they're that durable and that more efficient for that extra turn. So for the supporters, we have quite the simple lineup. We have four copies of Professor Sycamore, one copy of Professor Birch's Observations, 
two copies of Tierno, one copy of Lysander's Trump Cards, and two copies of the regular Lysander. Uh, so you've got your draw power, you've got your balance draw, you've got the ability to recycle uh, cards from your discard pile, uh, which is kind of handy if your energies go. There's lots of recycling going on in this build. And Lysander lets you swap out your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, if you're having trouble dealing with it and you need to stall out, oh, they're going to take out Flygon, which I need to build up energy. Or if they're going to take out Slacking too early and you have you happen to have uh, Dragonite ready to go, or it's been swapped out and you want to swap Dragonite out to Slacking because they're going to hit heavy, and you think, oh, well, Slacking can take it, it can resist it. So you're facing a fairy deck, and as you know, Dragonite's weak to fairy. Stuff like that, you know, just, just trying to be prepared as you can for a well-adverse lineup. Again, similar to the previous deck that I did, the Jason Klasinski deck, a lot of the items were quite... There was a lot of items in that build, so... Again, similar to the way I did that, I'm going to just place the items down and kind of move them around, because there's not really enough room. So first of all, we have four copies of Ultra Ball. Obviously, this is to search out our Pokémon. I've explained this before in many decks. Ultra Ball is a prominent card used. Two copies of Energy Retrieval. This lets you put two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. So if you don't draw into Lysander's Trump card or you don't have the ability to recycle, but you do draw into Retrieval, you now do. Uh, four copies of Switch. We run Switch because Slacking has four energy for retreat cost and you don't really want to pay that because that's pretty much going to reset Slacking's power level uh, and you're going to have to build that up with Knuckle Sandwich again in order to use it. So Switch lets you get basically get a free retreat. That's why you run Switch. Talking of Switch, we have two copies of Energy Switch. This lets you move a basic energy from one of your Pokemon to another one. This is just in case you don't draw into Flygon. It's nice to move energies around. I think that's kind of a cool thing to be able to do. Uh, two copies of Rare Candy, as I mentioned. Uh, lets you jump the evolution line and get to that stage two. So Flygon and Slacking will uh, be quicker to get to. Kind of handy. A must, in my opinion, for this build. More energy searching with Mon <laughs> with Professor's Letter, sorry. You search your deck for two basic energy cards, reveal them, put them in your hand, the shuffle your deck afterwards. That's up to two. Uh, normally you will be searching out two, you'll rarely search out one, unless you only have one left. Which isn't, it, it actually is, it could happen. And then finally, we have four copies of Acrobike. A prominent card I've used before, you know, just speeds up, you get to look at the top two cards, pick one of them in your hand, and discard the other. So if, even if you build up your discard pile, you can get them back with Lysander's Trump card, as and when you draw them. And of course, to finish off, one of the key essences of the deck, energy cards. You need energy, otherwise you can't really do anything. So we have four copies of the double colorless energy, making its return a very prominent uh, energy card. Four copies of grass energy, and two copies of the electric energy, or the lightning energy, as you would. Uh, the reason you run the... Uh, grass energy and the electric energy is mainly for Dragonite EX's Jet Sonic attack. Because um, obviously I don't, I didn't put any fighting energy in, partly for space reasons and also because you're never going to use Flygon's attack. You're only ever going to use it for its Rainbow, you know, Shower or Rainbow Burst, whatever it was that lets you search out the energies. Uh, that's kind of why you'll run it. So yes, yeah, it's, it's quite the simple. You know, only ten energies needed. Um, usually in decks like this, when you build up your energy count, you're only really doing it to get the next Pokemon out. So for me, it would be slacking. For some people, it would be... Uh, very rarely would an evolution line be that. You'd mostly use it on colorless Pokemon if someone was using, say, a Jerry Archie X or something like that. Uh, but other than that, the energy lineup is pretty simple. Alright guys, so that was the Knuckle Sandwich deck. Pretty much prominently based around slacking, Flygon as Synergy, and Dragonite EX for power. Uh, the deck could be tweaked if you wanted to run it. I mean, I might try a variant with Flygon and Dragonite, or maybe just make a Dragonite EX deck. You know, just pure aggressive. Uh, a new video I've got coming up, Pokemon Base. The next Pokemon video is my top 10 Pokemon full art cards, which I'll be showing you guys. Uh, you've probably seen most of them on and off, but to actually kind of explain them a bit and kind of explain why I like them and why I think they are, you know, pretty kick-ass and whatnot. Uh, obviously this is uh, similar to the base set cards, it's based on what I have rather than cards I wish I had because there are loads of full arts I wish I had but I don't at the moment. Uh, but yeah guys that was Knuckle Sandwich, I hope you enjoyed. Please feel free to you know comment if you like the deck or not, what you would change about it, you know do you think it's it's as efficient as it could be, could it be better, could it be more aggressive, what to take out, what to leave in, um, if you think this deck's total garbage. Uh, again I just put it together kind of you know not too long. Mostly to kind of make use of the Furious Fist stuff that I got. And that's kind of... All the Pokemon in the deck are from Furious Fists. Dragonite EX, Slacking, and Flygon, all main prominent attackers from that deck. So, Or from that set, I should say, and then put in the deck. That was Knuckle Sandwich, guys. Uh, I've been the Nintendo Fanatic, and I will see you guys in the next video.